Yeah, snakes are now getting out. Excuse me, buddy, can you wait? All right, you guys, today we are renovating the Burmese Python exhibit. So this is our old, smaller American alligator exhibit. We no longer have her in here, so we have an empty exhibit. So guess what I'm gonna do? We are going to move our Burmese pythons in currently. Our Burmese pythons are housed underneath their Shere Khan. Hey, Shere Khan. You can kind of see Buddy. Hey, Buddy, how's it going? Our Burmese python exhibit actually goes all the way back, you can see, to the pool. They have access to both exhibits. Big snakes like this, they're terrestrial. They do not need high arboreal enclosures, especially these big Burmese pythons. But because we have the room, we thought, why not? Let's give them some, you know, more space and we'll also give them a bigger pool. The pythons will have access to the bottom story and the top story. First order of business, I am going to take out the AstroTurf. This AstroTurf is not good for pythons because when they go to the bathroom, all the nasty juices get soaked into the AstroTurf, so this is not good. So we're gonna replace this. Here we go. AstroTurf is now completely gone. The existing Burmese Python exhibit already has existing trap doors, so this is how I access the exhibit. Hey guys! What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to remove this whole door and open this up. Now the only problem, they might get out, which they get out all the time anyway, so nothing new to them. Yeah, snakes are now getting out. Buddy, it's not ready for the big reveal. There's no water in there yet. Buddy, can you please wait? Excuse me, buddy, can you wait? I'd really appreciate that. The trap doors are off. You can see the existing Burmese Python exhibit. We are now gonna give them access to the top level. I got this at Home Depot. Super cheap, this whole roll cost me about 50 bucks. Let's get this going. Just a tip, if you're trying to get a straight line, get a two by four, make sure that it's a straight two by four and use this as a little measuring tool. I am going to use poultry shears just to cut this vinyl. You can also use a box cutter. Oh my goodness, it looks good. I think I might want to move in here. Not bad, easy to clean for the snakes. That's how it looks so far, little update. I'm gonna keep this open, although I will keep the trap door on hand in case I need to close them off and clean out here. But this will be open for the snakes for the majority of the time so they can have access to this upper exhibit. As you'll see, I'll be able to do that. I still need to glue it. This universal flooring adhesive, I'm gonna use this tool. Get out any of the bubbles. Check this out. The glue is setting. Look at that hardwood floors. We are now filling up the pool. We have naturally heated geothermal water. So this is nice warm water going in for our pythons. I think I need to get a log up in here. What do you think? A tree? All right, check that out. Added some branches. The snakes can explore. They can climb. I think I'm going to eventually add fish in the pool. The snakes won't eat the fish. Why not put fish in the pool? Look at all the room that the Burmese pythons are gonna have now. Look at this, they get the whole bottom floor, which is where they were, and they're gonna get this whole top area. It's time to introduce Shere Khan and Buddy to their new homes. They are going to absolutely love it. This is Buddy, my 10 and a half foot, normal phase Burmese python. Here we go. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy, dude. Enjoy, Shere Khan. Oh, my 13 foot, ah, oh my new Burmese python. Let's see what they think of their new home. And he's going to the bottom floor. <laughs> he's like, I know the bottom floor. 